And WMUR is partnering with the Red Cross to help raise money for those recovering from these powerful storms. John Montez of the Red Cross of Northern New England is joining us live now. And John, what do you think is the biggest hurdle facing our Red Cross crews right now? You know, right now, one of the biggest challenges is just access. You know, after a storm comes by and goes through an area and causes devastation, it's really hard to really understand what people's needs are uh, because you can't get to them. So using things like fan boats, um, you know, vehicles being uh, off road vehicles, things like that, just to get to where people are. As an example, in North Carolina, we're just starting to get to people that are in the in the Black Hills because it's been such a challenge. Uh, getting to them. And then when you get there, you have to figure out what their needs are and provide services and getting those supplies and equipment there. It's been really hard. We can see how tough it is to get around these parts and navigate the water, the downed trees, the power lines. People here in New Hampshire are making donations. And when they do donate to the Red Cross, where do these funds go? How quickly are they actually put to use? Such a great question. They get put to use right away. 91 cents on every dollar goes directly to disaster victims. The other uh, nine cents goes to overhead. Um, and $200 pays for an entire family to eat for an entire day at a shelter. Uh, $27 pays for a cleanup kit for a family to use at their home. Even just $10 pays for two blankets for shelter, pe shelter uh, residents. So immediately it gets put to use and it's desperately needed. So good to hear exactly where the money's going. Then you can feel so good about exactly what you are donating to. So, John, what do the recovery crews on the ground need right now? There's three big things that we, the crews on the ground and we as an organization need. Uh, number one, it's those financial donations so we can deliver supplies and resources to the victims of these storms. Number two, it's for more people to volunteer, and you can do that at redcross.org. And number three, it's to donate blood. Uh, you know, there is a lot of people that have suffered trauma from these storms, and we're unable to collect blood in a lot of the storm rattled areas. So we do need those donations uh, right away. John Montez of the Red Cross of Northern New England, thanks for everything that you're doing, and thanks so much for joining us this noon. Thank you. Well, if you would like to help the Red Cross efforts in the hurricane areas, you can scan that QR code right there on your screen to make a donation. As you heard, all the money raised will go directly to hurricane recovery efforts. Since we launched this fundraiser just yesterday, you have given more than $75,000. Thank you so much. For more information, you can also visit WMUR.com slash Red Cross.